Troy, Accor Advanced Materials is a battery material technology and source play in the market, correct? Yes, yes, it is. We've uh, initially, when we started Alcora almost eight years ago or more, uh, we focused on the processing side of graphite and built the team up around that. Uh, around that, and uh, you know, in, in you know, I believe in 2014 we were awarded the top graphene uh, producer in the world by uh, University of, of Singapore. Uh, so we, we leveraged that the, those strengths, and uh, we broadened our horizon into other battery materials. As, as, as such as vanadium and manganese, and that's where we're at today. And you're putting news out regularly. I always tell people, watch for companies that achieve milestones regularly. And in November alone, we've had two updates on your manganese uh, mine. Would you like to tell us what's happening with that? Yes, uh, about a year ago, we, uh, we purchased 100% uh, of a Moroccan company with uh, 17 different licenses in them. They're made up of vanadium and manganese. And, and quickly there started building our team that we had built in Sri Lanka, moved it to, Sh uh, to Morocco. And with our, we've, we've outlined what our, what our short-term, mid-term, long-term goals were. We looked at the manganese uh, site, which was an old producing mine that was operated by the French in the 1950s. Then they got kicked out. We, uh, we were able to purchase it as part of this, uh, with this private company. Uh, great, great site, great Pras Perusi mine, surface at, the, the deposit at surface. So we quickly uh, started working our mine plan to, you know, bought the equipment, uh, developed the mine plan now, waiting, waiting for the uh, production license. Once we receive that, we're pretty much, uh, we believe that we'll start being able to produce uh, or raw ore initially. Uh, within 30 days. Okay, so let me make sure I heard this correctly. You will have uh, an ability to produce in 30 days once that comes through. So that could be as early as the end of the year, possibly. Yeah, it could be a it could be a nice little Christmas present for everybody uh, under the tree. So uh, we're 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 pushing. We're excited. To, we're we're at the at the one yard line, and uh, we're really uh, really excited about this property and uh, and, and and its potential. Uh, and the good thing about this is that we can, you know, use our processing skills to upgrade the material. Initially, we'll we'll just sell the raw ore, uh, which we're able to. Uh, we're, you know, we, we've all the different test work we have. We think we can get an, an average of thirty five percent of manganese uh, to deliver, and then from there, we're working on uh, the physical uh, processing part of it, and uh, then be able to get a higher price at a higher percentage of manganese. In, in addition to, of course, clipping along for production here with a critical mineral, it also you're also moving forward with your vanadium concessions. Can you tell us more about that? Yeah. In parallel, we're uh, we're moving that along. We, we're we're the, the process is a little different, a little further behind, but not not much more. So what we're our goal here is, you know, once we get this production, uh, the, the vanadium will fall very quickly. We have you know the same thing, equipment bought for that site. Uh, man, you know, we can, we have the team that can do both. So that's good. And uh, as well as uh, ready buyers in the market for this, for this material. Okay. So in addition to that, are there any updates on the graphene technology process or the graphite production? We, you know, we, we spent a lot of work in the graphite sector and, uh, you know, we're, we're continuing to, uh, to be involved in it. We still have a relationship in Tanzania with, uh, with, a, with an exciting project there. We just recently, one of the directors just got back from Dubai last week, meeting financial partners and, and, the, and, and our partners in Tanzania, looking to see, uh, you know, how to make that make sense. And uh, we, as I said, we continue to own our position in, in Sri Lanka. We're just not the operators there anymore. So, uh, you know, we're, we're, we, we like the space. We spend a lot of time in the graphite space, but uh, that's why we, we decided to broaden out our, our, uh, our focus uh, to include not just graphite, but uh, the vanadium and the manganese as well. Well, Troy, we're so delighted to have an update from you today. And so for those of you out there, for more information on Alcora Advanced Materials, please go to their website. You've had a minimum of half a dozen news releases on vanadium and your manganese uh, production plans here in the last six weeks. Is there anything else that shareholders or potential investors should be aware of with regards to Alcora right now, Troy? 
No, I, I think uh, you, 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 you summarized it perfectly. But, uh, you know, one thing that we, we have been uh, doing and, 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 you know, since the markets have not been really that favorable for the juniors is really focus on the fundamentals. You know, once we get that permit in place, we're, uh, as I said, we got boots on the ground, ready to deliver. And I think the market, like, uh, was kind of emphasized at your at your uh, at your conference that you put on, that you know, be getting in, getting the cash flow early and quickly is 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 very crucial to the junior market space. And that's one thing that we've uh, that we want to get what we want to focus on, and that and that's where we're at. Troy, as always, a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you very much.